Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to do a traditional um, recipe in an untraditional way. Um, growing up in New England, I had a lot of um, things that a lot of people are probably not familiar with, like American chop suey, um, fish chowder, a lot of people are familiar with that. But another thing that's very popular in New England are boiled dinners. Now, you can have a boiled dinner um, with corned beef or you can have it with ham. So I'm showing you how I make my um, pork shoulder uh, boiled dinner. But I'm cooking it in a slow cooker instead of a great big giant pot that you would throw everything in. And I haven't tested this before. This is my first run, so we'll see how it turns out in a slow cooker. Um, in here, I have a half of a um, pork shoulder picnic ham. And to that, I'm going to add all the vegetables. I wanted to make sure that I got the meat in there first. And I don't have any water in there yet because I'm going to add that last. Because everything will just fall apart. So to this, I'm adding a half a head of cabbage. I'll just get that in here. And I just pre-prepped this stuff um, beforehand. So, And then I'm just going to throw the rest of this stuff on top. This is one onion, um, four, no, five carrots, and I kind of made them kind of chunky, like, like that, and um, potatoes. Now, you can either peel them, or if you don't like peeling them, you can always um, just clean them and throw them in here whole. Uh, not whole, but I quartered mine. Some some were bigger than others, so I either quartered the big ones or cut the smaller ones in half, but that's all. Now I'm going to add some warm water. Um, this is probably about 32 ounces. Between 24 and 32 ounces of warm water. And for seasoning, we don't need a whole lot because the ham has its own natural salts. And so, um, the only thing I'm doing a little different and very unconventional, even though I know some people that live in New England that, that do this, um, in my family this was not a traditional seasoning, is just a little Old Bay. And Old Bay seasoning, you can season anything with it. Traditionally in Maryland, you know, they season um, a lot of seafood dishes and stuff with it, but you can use this for everything. I use it for everything. We're talking anything from pasta salads to stuff like this. And now I'm just going to add some multicolored peppercorns. I'm probably going to have to grind this. I thought I might have to. So um, I'm just going to grind this. I'm going to need both my hands. I'm just going to grind this over the top and um, put a lid on this and put it on low and I'll be back. Hi everybody. So we're back with the second part of the New England um, boiled dinner. Now this takes a long time in a, in a slow cooker, I gotta tell you. Um, this took probably about eight and a half to nine hours. So if you don't have the time for that, well actually if you do have the time for it, if you're going to work or whatever, um, you can throw all these ingredients into the slow cooker. Um, as you can see, I had to add a lot more water. I don't know what I was thinking this morning when I was throwing it all together, but you basically want the enough water where it's going to come right around the edge of the, the slow cooker um, because you want all your vegetables to cook, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take out the vegetables with a slotted spoon and the meat 
and I'll show you what it looks like when it, we come back and Izzy will do the taste test. I'm so excited! <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're back. Uh, all I did with the slatted spoon, because there's a lot of liquid in the slow cooker from, you know, cooking all this stuff all day, um, I just used a slatted spoon to get the vegetables out. So I have two different things here. I'll set up all fancy like. Okay, so I'm just going to get Izzy a plate. Now, just to fill you in, um, we have five regular potatoes here. We have five carrots, one onion, and a half a head of cabbage. Okay. That's plenty of vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is what happens when you boil ham. Mm -hmm. For those that are not familiar with a traditional boiled dinner, <laughs> is it just falls apart. It just falls right off the bone, and it's so tender. I can't wait to eat this thing. <laughs> now, tr traditionally here in New England, how we all eat it, and this, well, th this is how my family eats it. Whether or not everybody's family eats it this way, I don't know. But in my family, it's always been done this way. We take a pat of butter for the vegetables Yummy. and some vinegar. Now, you could use white vinegar. I have apple cider vinegar here because it's a nice, cool fall day here in New England. And we kind of want to be a little liberal with that vinegar, too. Now, Izzy's going to do her taste test. And I got her a fork all ready. Um, of course, I've taken up most of my counter space. Um, Izzy, you can find a spot. Have at it. <laughs> I'll try my best, Mama, because I am going to taste that thing. <laughs> and try not to touch this thing because it is hot. Well, it's so here. Why don't I just make some room for you? Okay. <laughs> here, I'll go over here. Okay. <laughs> Look at that yumminess, people. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take the camera, and, and here comes camera. Izzy. Okay, well. And she's way up here now. <laughs> Okay, well, I decided before I'd taste test, I'd kind of let that cool off, because that's probably very piping hot, um, and kicked you up a little bit. Well, now I am in sixth grade, and it's not fun, <laughs> um, and I have a lot more friends and everything, <sighs> and as you know, I'm taller than my mom. Yay! <laughs> I get to tower over my mommy and daddy every day. <laughs> okay, well now, I don't care if it's too hot or not, I'm going to try this. Now, which one do I want first? Um, what I usually do is mix them all together. I like to eat them separate. Okay. <laughs> I'll try the carrot first. Don't be too hot. Ah, oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hot. Um, <laughs> That is really good and really hot. <laughs> now let's try the ham. And oh, holy crap, that's hot. <laughs> this thing is like burning my fingers. Language. <laughs> mm. That is some really good stuff. It might be burning the insides of my mouth as I speak, but it is so juicy and so hot. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like falling out the bone, but still really hot. <laughs> mm. You gotta try this. It'll be really good. Bye.